Have you ever wondered what would happen if Mars and Venus switched places? Picture this, Mars, the fourth rock from the sun, with its thin atmosphere and frigid temperatures, and Venus, the second planet from the sun, shrouded in thick clouds and scorching heat. Imagine if these two celestial bodies swapped their places in the cosmic ballet of our solar system. Now this isn't as simple as a cosmic game of musical chairs. Mars and Venus are vastly different planets, each with their unique characteristics and challenges. Mars, with its red iron oxide surface, barely retains heat due to its thin atmosphere. On the flip side, Venus, with its high albedo and thick atmosphere, is like a pressure cooker, trapping heat and making it the hottest planet in our solar system. So what would happen if they were to trade spots? Would Mars become a tropical paradise? Would Venus cool down and become a new Earth? Or would the swap trigger cataclysmic events beyond our wildest imaginations? Brace yourselves as we delve into the science and unravel this cosmic mystery. Well, let's dive into the science and unravel this cosmic mystery. First, we look at Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, and often called the Red Planet. With its rusty reddish surface, Mars has earned a reputation for its distinctive hue. But what makes Mars truly fascinating lies beneath its surface and within its thin atmosphere. Mars is smaller than Earth, about half the size, and it has a much thinner atmosphere. This thin atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and argon. It's so thin, in fact, that it's about 100 times less dense than Earth's atmosphere. But what does this mean for our hypothetical scenario? Well, a thin atmosphere means that Mars struggles to retain heat. Unlike our home planet, which has a dense atmosphere that traps the sun's heat, Mars's thin atmosphere allows this warmth to escape back into space, leading to frigid temperatures that can drop as low as minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit at the poles. Now let's imagine we move Mars closer to the sun, swapping its place with Venus. The increased proximity to the sun would indeed raise the planet's temperature. But remember Mars's thin atmosphere? The lack of a dense atmospheric blanket means that Mars would still struggle to hold on to this heat. The increased warmth from the sun would simply escape back into space, leaving Mars just as cold and inhospitable as before. And there's another challenge. Mars's thin atmosphere offers little protection from harmful solar radiation. On Earth, our atmosphere acts as a shield, absorbing most of the sun's harmful rays. But on Mars, these rays would directly strike the surface, making the planet even less hospitable for life as we know it. So, even nudged closer to the sun, Mars wouldn't turn into a tropical paradise. The thin atmosphere, inability to retain heat, and exposure to solar radiation would all combine to keep Mars a barren, cold desert, regardless of its position in the solar system. Next, we have Venus, our solar system's hothouse, and the second planet from the sun, Venus, often referred to as Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and proximity, is anything but sisterly when it comes to its atmospheric conditions. Its atmosphere is incredibly thick, composed predominantly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. This dense atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect on steroids, trapping the sun's heat and making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. This heat isn't just a tad uncomfortable, it's extreme. We're talking temperatures that can melt lead averaging around 870 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, which is even closer to the Sun. This intense heat is maintained day and night thanks to Venus's slow rotation and its atmosphere's ability to evenly distribute the trapped solar heat. Now let's talk about Venus's high albedo. Albedo is a measure of how much light that hits a surface is reflected without being absorbed. Snow, for example, has a high albedo, while asphalt has a low one. Venus, shrouded in reflective clouds, has the highest albedo of any planet in our solar system. This means it reflects most of the sunlight that reaches it, contributing to its brightness in our sky. So what if we were to drag Venus out to Mars' orbit? Would it cool down? Not so fast. Remember, Venus's atmosphere is incredibly good at trapping heat. Even if we moved it further from the sun, its atmosphere would still retain a significant amount of heat. Plus, its high albedo means it would continue to reflect a large amount of sunlight potentially preventing it from cooling down significantly. Thus, moving Venus further from the Sun wouldn't turn it into a frosty retreat. But what if we pushed things a bit further and dragged Venus beyond the habitable zone? It's a fascinating question that probes the limits of our understanding about planetary atmospheres and their interactions with solar radiation. Venus, our solar system's hothouse, is no ordinary planet. Its atmosphere is thick, primarily consisting of carbon dioxide, with clouds of sulfuric acid. This unique atmospheric composition creates a strong greenhouse effect, trapping heat and making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. Now, 
If we were to move Venus to an orbit beyond the habitable zone, you might expect it to cool down rapidly, right? Well, not quite. The process might be more complicated than you think. You see, Venus has a high albedo, meaning it's incredibly reflective. About 70% of the sunlight that hits Venus is reflected back into space. So, even as we move Venus away from the Sun, this high reflectivity could continue to shield the planet from cooling down quickly. Moreover, Venus's thick atmosphere acts like a thermal blanket. It has an incredible ability to retain heat. So, even if we move it beyond the habitable zone, this thick atmospheric blanket could keep Venus toasty for a long time, hindering rapid cooling. And let's not forget, any attempt to swap the orbits of Venus and Mars would not only involve overcoming huge gravitational forces, but also dealing with the potential for catastrophic collisions. So this hypothetical switch is not as straightforward as it might seem. So even in the frigid outer reaches, Venus wouldn't be a cool getaway. A fascinating thought experiment, isn't it? This planetary game of musical chairs teaches us a lot about the unique characteristics of our neighboring planets and the complexities of their atmospheres. It's a reminder of the delicate balance that makes Earth a habitable oasis in the vastness of space. So what's the real deal if Mars and Venus switched places? Let's break it down. We've been on a celestial journey, exploring the hypothetical scenario of switching the orbits of Mars and Venus. We've delved into the characteristics of the red planet and the hothouse, Mars and Venus respectively, and have pondered the complications that such a swap would entail. In essence, changing the orbits of Mars and Venus would not, contrary to some wild speculations, create a second habitable world in our solar system. Mars, even if moved closer to the Sun, would not suddenly become more habitable. Its thin atmosphere and inability to retain heat would still make it an inhospitable place for life as we know it. On the other hand, Venus, even if relocated to the cooler orbit of Mars, would not instantly transform into a chilly paradise. Its high albedo and thick atmosphere would mean it retains heat for longer, delaying any significant cooling. Even if we were to drag Venus beyond the habitable zone, its unique atmospheric composition would complicate the cooling process. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, simply swapping the orbits of two planets is not a magic wand that can create new Earth-like environments. It's a complex, multifaceted process that goes beyond mere relocation. In conclusion, a cosmic swap wouldn't lead to a second Earth. Our universe remains a place of wonder and mystery where simple solutions often give way to complex realities. In the grand scheme of the universe, planetary positions matter. Our exploration today has illuminated the intricate ballet of celestial bodies and underscored that the delicate balance of life hinges on the precise location of a planet in the solar system. Mars and Venus, each in their own orbits, present unique conditions that simply swapping places could not rectify. It's a fascinating reminder that the cosmos is a finely tuned machine, each part playing a crucial role in the grand design. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that each planet is in its perfect place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know what you think of all this in the comments below.